Okay. So welcome to the show. Chermate, the show. Number one, number one, number one. Business financial education. Yes. This is where we provoke you to set up your own business. Yes, you are going to set up that business. You are going to provoke you. All right. Now, um, I told you that today we have what happens to your salary after five years. You know, this week we've been talking about entrepreneurship versus jobship. We are done with entrepreneurship and we are on job, right? Yesterday we started a job series. So today we are moving on. Now we want to look at what will happen to your salary five years. If you work for five years, you remember yesterday we said after five years you have worked 10,000 hours of your life for pay, which is no good at all because I have done 10 years. Which is, which, which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's good. But then after that, you need to move on. Is that okay? Yes. Now, so after five years, we want to see what happens to our salary. Of course, um, like I said, job is good initially. If you check uh, Maslow's um, hierarchy, right? He puts um, physiological needs. That's where he starts. That's on the bottom. The bottom. That's the beginning. So anybody at all who is employed, you know, would be what, motivated initially by food, um, shelter, rest, and recreation. And Maso said that you need money to get these things, isn't it? So pay is important. At least if you start working. You understand, but we are saying that after five years, what happens? Indeed, if you look at Maslow's hierarchy, you realize that even after physiological needs, you move towards safety needs, you move to social esteem and self actualization. So, Maslow even told us that pay alone is not enough, or money alone is not enough. As time moves on, you also be motivated by other stuff. So, it means that your salary after five years, something will happen to it. And that is what um, this morning I want to share that with you so that you will not depend solely on your salary. Or after five years, you quit or you have side hustle. Yes. All right. So let's see um, this chart, right? Now, if you look at this chart, we have last five years and we use um, this salary as an example, 5,000. So the person was receiving 5,000 Ghana cities last five years. That was 2018. Okay. Now, October to so October what, 2023, the person is now receiving 7,500. So there has been increment of what? 50%. Let's assume five years you've got what? 50% increment. It can be 100%. It depends, right? But I want to peg it at what? 50%. Okay. Now, so last five years, this person was receiving 5,000 Ghana cities. Now, the price of cement, before I even come to the price, now, we are looking at what will happen to your salary after five years. Yes. And we can't talk about that without talking about what? Inflation. So we say inflation was what? Increment in price level, the understand, of goods and services. So definitely there will be what increment of what price level as far as goods and services are concerned. Especially if you live in Africa or Ghana. So five years definitely. So if that happens, what is going to happen to your salary? Okay. Now, so assuming um, the person receives 5,000 Ghana cities. Now the price of cement was 30 Ghana cities last five years. Price of rice was 148 Ghana cities. Petrol was 3.5 per liter or 14 Ghana cities per gallon. Then price of dollar was 4 Ghana cities. Last five years. Okay. Now let's see what will happen to the person now. So if the person, let's say the person has now got 50% increment of salary, right? 
So the person will now receive 7,500 Ghana CDs. Okay, so the person is somehow better off. Right. Now, let's see the price of cement now. Cement is now 85 Ghana CDs or 90 CDs. So even though the person salary has increased, we will see what will happen to the person's real income. So the real income is the value of the person's income, what the person's money can buy. That's what we refer to as what real income. Yes, you have increased your salary 50% for five years. You've got 50% increment. But now look at the increment in cement. So what can your salary buy? That 50%, what can you buy? What, what can it buy? Has it reduced or increased? We look at that. Now let's look at price of um, rice now. So price of rice now is 200 Ghana cities. It used to be 148, but now it's 200. So the rise, the change is not that uh, big. Now let's look at petrol. Yes, petrol. Now liter of petrol used to be 3.5, but now it's 11 per liter. So it's getting to somewhere 46 Ghana cities. Okay, let's look at price of dollar. Dollar was four. Now dollar is of almost 12. So what is happening to this employee? After five years, is he better off or worse off? Let's see. Now, if you look at the salary, of course, 50% increment is not bad. Some will even have 100%. Five years. All right. Now, so let's see um, what is happening to price of cement. Price of cement is now 85. It used to be 30. So 185 increments for five years. So it means that in terms of cement, the person's real income has fallen. Because cement has increased to 185%, but you have 50%. Assuming you even have 100% increment, you are still worse off in terms of cement. Okay, now let's check price of rice. So rice, the increment is 26%. So for food, it's not that bad. Okay, let's look at petrol. Petrol used to be 3.5 liter, now 11 liter. 228%. You are worse off. So you are worse off if you have a car and you are employed for this five years. Even if they have increased your salary 100%, you are still worse off. Now let's look at dollar. Dollar is now 12, it used to be 4. And because Ghana is, we import more than we export, definitely our exchange rates as compared to the um, dollar or other will definitely fall. Maybe sometimes it appreciates, but most of the times it depreciates because we, we mostly import than we export. And once the dollar depreciates, it affects everything, isn't it? So if you are an employee after five years, note that you'll be worse off, especially if you are in Ghana or Africa. Now, this is global program. So let's say if you are outside, of course, if you are in the US, UK, Germany, and the rest, maybe things will be a bit okay. But even still, because inflation, no matter what you do, things will go up. If maybe the difference will not be that big, right? Yes. But if you're in Ghana, you are worse off. So those, that's what I'm saying that you need to have entrepreneurial mindset of skills. Because next five years, the same thing will happen. <laughs> yes. The same thing will happen. That is why I've been saying that this program is number one. Because we need to change our mindsets. Okay. So it means that five years employee you'll be worse off. So what do you do? Do you quit or you have side hustle? Yes. So it depends on you. If it's time for you to quit after five years, yes, you can quit. Like I was saying um, the other time, when I went to the university level 200, I told myself that as soon as I complete, I will work for five years. And getting to five years, I resigned. But the bad thing I did was that I should have set up my business. 
I rather travel. Even though travel is good, but the timing was not good. That is why I brought up this program to share my experience so that it will also uh, tap someone if you're about to do the same. So please, after five years, you quit and have your business or you have side hustle. Because if you continue to be an employee, you'll be worse off. Yes, you say salary is a drag, right? You can't keep taking it forever. No. Because it will get to the time, definitely you have the side effect. And these are some of them. Okay. So we are saying that after five years, you need to start planning. If you can't set up a business, because there's not everybody who can be an entrepreneur, that one no two is about that. But for side hustle, everybody at all can do it. Yes, you can have side hustle. That one everybody at all can do it. But if you want to be an entrepreneur, I've shared the skills already. You can go and watch those videos. Have the skills. Bam! Go ahead and set up that business. Five years. It's not for you. I should have done it five years. But I didn't. So I have to work for ten years. Okay, so um, our first session, this is what I want to share with you. So we will go for a um, short break. When we come back, then we look at should I have side hustle or I should quit? So we will be right back.